Shalom. And foremost, I want to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rock, Kadash. Salutation to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teaching 100% true. Shalom, Barak, a thumb to them for their edification and knowledge. And double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teaching 100% true. Shalom, Barak, a thumb to them. And foremost, before anything, give all praise to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rock, Kadash. It's a nice lesson I'm going to do um, relating to some verses relating to not um, as far as not envying the wicked. I'm going to start out in Proverbs um, 3, 331. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the froward which is uh, one who's contrary or very difficult to deal with, is an abomination to the Lord. But his secrets is with the righteous. It relates to the, um, the elect, the prophets, man. And this relates to this truth and knowledge. Because the, um, the Lord puts uh, this truth and knowledge in the secrets of the prophets. Um, 33. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he, but ye blessed the habitation of the just, which is the righteous. But that curse is going to be upon the wicked, which is the majority of the population of people. Um, 34. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace to the lowly. The lowly is the unrighteous. The meek, the humble, that's the righteous. 35. But the wise shall inherit glory, but the shame shall be be the promotion of fools and that's the wicked it relates to the wise that relates to the righteous they're gonna they're gonna um, inherit the glory which is um, the next kingdom you know what I mean let's continue I'm gonna go to Proverbs 20 24 Be thou not envious against an evil man, neither desire to be with him. So avoid him at all costs. You know what I mean? Because it's bad news. Number two. For their heart study of destruction. In their lips talk of mischief. I like that. They study destruction. They have counsel. They have counsel to do certain things. And after they have counsel... They're studying and implement, they're going to study how they're going to implement and exercise their um, their plans, their endeavors, their desires to do certain things. And this is their nature, man. In this regards the wicked. Through wisdom is the house built it, and by understanding is established. So I wanted to make the point. Um, let me see. Let's see if some other verses in that same chapter. Oh yeah. I'm going to go to uh, 24 and 19. Fret not thyself because of evil men. Neither be envious at the wicked. So don't, don't, they might prosper for, for a season. But it's only for, it's only a temporary season, man. And for example, they seem like they might get away with certain things. They're in a position and power of certain things. But that's the balance of the Lord. The Lord... The Lord gave the left uh, the left hand side, which is the wicked, their time and season. This is their time and their season. That relates to the balance. That balance, that scales, man. That equilibrium. That balances. You know what I mean? Because without that, without that uh, that balance, it would be unbalanced. And we know uh, uh, unbalanced is abomination to the Lord. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just ways is the light. That's on Proverbs 11 and 1. So, it has to be about balance. You know what I mean? So, this is their time. This is their season, man. But, but because in their, the position they're in, don't, don't be envy, envy of them. Don't envy of them. And, and um, don't try to be like them. Because ultimately, um, it's all temporary. You know what I mean? Their, their position, their power is temporary. Alright, let's continue on. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. That light, that wicked light is going to be put out. 
Remember I said it's um it's all uh, regards um it's temporary. Their power is temporary. You know what I mean? Um Okay, let's continue on. I'm gonna go to um I'm going to go to Psalms 37 and 1. Thirty-seven and one. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. The workers of iniquity is the evil doers, man. So fret not, you know what I mean, or be envy of them. Don't be like them, you know what I mean? Um, let's continue on. Let's go to Psalms 73. I'm going to read 73, 3 through 9. Read 3 through 9 and 73. This is Psalm 73. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And that's the point. Because they, they're in the position and they seem like they're prospering. You know, that's only from the optics, but ultimately the Lord is having the Lord is using them for the purpose that they they have to use them. He has to use them for. So they're gonna this is their time, their season, like I said. And um so this is their rulership, man. So they're going to prosper, but it's only momentarily. It's only temporary. You know what I mean? Because the Lord is a balanced power. He works with balance, man. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength, in, their, their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Because they're empowered, they're in a position, they have the they have the means, the resources, so they're not gonna be in trouble like other men. You know what I mean? That's the ones who are ruling. Job 9:24. The power has been given to the hands of the wicked. They cover the face of the judge. If it's not he, then who is it? You know what I mean? That's the ones who empower. So they're not gonna be trouble like other men. They not have, they're gonna have, they're not gonna have to bear bear the burdens of certain things. Like normal like individuals, like normal people do. Especially like the uh, so-called blacks and Spanish Native Americans, you know what I mean? And the wicked, you know, they're in a position of power, so they're on, they on the top of their game. And they're on top of their rulership, so everything's nice and lovely for them. Alright, let's go to um, number five, number six. Therefore pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, and they have more than their hearts could wish for. That's that pride, man. The more they want, the more they always got to have, you know what I mean? So they never have enough, and they're never satisfied, and that's greed. You know what I mean? So they can never, they can never be satisfied, for example, with that. Other resources and, and natural, um, natural things. They have enough where they at where they at home, but they want other people's stuff. So they'll do what they have to do to try to get that, acquire that, by any means necessary. And they usually get what they want. You know what I mean? So they, that that relates to that greed, excessive greed. So they gotta they gotta the more they want, the more they gotta have. You know. So um, that relates to the wicked man. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning the oppression. So they speak proudly, proudly about other people's um, burdens, oppression, their forms of demise. They speak very uh, arrogant, very uh, lofty. Shemayim. They lofty, they are high, high and condescending about oppression, man. Especially if, um, if, if it involves them directly or indirectly.
So this relates to the wicked. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongues walking through the earth, man. And this relates to the pride and arrogance of the wicked, man. They're very prideful, arrogant. They, 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 um, they, in their minds, they haven't done any wrong, man. That's why they're so proud and so haughty about it. And when you can, when, and when they're confronted regarding the truth about certain matters involving them, then they try to deflect it and uh, go off subject on it. They get cognitive dissonance, man. They act like they don't hear you or understand you. All right, let's continue on. I'm gonna go to Job 21, 17. We'll start at 7 through 13. Wherefore do the wicked live? Become old, ye are mighty in power. Their seed is established in the sight, of, sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of Yahweh upon them. Their bull gendereth and faileth not their cow calveth and casteth not her calf. They sent forth the little ones like flock and the children dance. They take a tremble or harp, which is an instrument, and rejoice at the sounds of the organ. They spend their days in wealth and in the moment go down to the grave. This relates to the prosperity of the wicked. Go to number 17. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out? And how oft cometh their destruction upon them? Yahweh distributed sorrows in his anger, man. I'm going to go to um, Psalms 94 and 3. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? So that's a pretty much a plea. How long will we have to endure relating to the wicked ruling, triumphing, and doing certain things? Pretty much as long as it takes. You know what I mean? The time is a time and season, man. And only the Lord Yahweh knows that time and season. Not even the angels, not even his son Yahweh, but the Father. There's a certain date is going to be. Put that with Job 14 and 5. They're not going to go beyond those bounds, man. But they will, but they will in their time and season as the Lord sees fit. There will be a recompense by the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yosha upon the wicked. I want to read something in Proverbs real quick. For the Lord had made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. And also, the day of evil, the Lord will, uh, the Lord will postpone certain things to, it, to pretty much execute judgment on the wicked as well. He'll allow them to do certain things to a point that he'll, um, where he'll set judgment on that proper, t uh, when that time is, a, that proper time when it's appointed upon them.
Let's get back on. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, go to Ecclesiastes seven and fifteen. verse I read was on Proverbs 16 and 4. So the Lord appointed a day of evil, man. As it relate to the day of judgment on judging them. This is 7 and 15. For all things I have seen in the day of my vanity, there is a just man that perish in his righteousness. And there is wicked man that prolong of his life in his wickedness, man. And that prolong of life is the Lord allowing him to prolong his life ultimately because the day, the Lord has a day uh, a day in judgment apart uh, um, for upon the wicked so the Lord will prolong his life to ultimately judge him when the time is right I want to go to um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 I gotta go to the um, apocrypha. Envy not the glory of the sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. So don't envy it. And for relating to his end, only the Lord knows. It's unknown, but it's known to the Lord. It's unknown to the man, the eyes of men. But to the Lord is known. Because the Lord have a set point at time and date for judgment upon the wicked and how he's going to do it. That's the majesty and the majesty, complexity, complexity of knowledge relating to Yahweh Bashim Yosha. Let's go to um, Do another one, 92 and 7, Psalms. Um, when the wicked spring it as grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish. It is that they shall be destroyed forever. And they're going to be destroyed forever. Because the Lord is going to destroy them forever. Let me get another one in Job. I forgot something in Job. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where the righteous cut off, even as I seen that they plow iniquity, and so reap, uh, so so uh, wickedness reap the same. So the point is, um, whoever perish being innocent, no one. In the wicked's case, definitely, definitely not.
I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another one real fast. Um, I'll get Job 20 and 5. This will be the last one. This is just a few verses I do. You know what I mean? Relating to uh, the wicked. I probably I said I said this pre I said this uh, a few minutes ago relating to this. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, and thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So there's a certain bound that the wicked is going to rule to a point, and beyond that he's not going to go. He's not going to go beyond that because the Lord has set that that time and date that he's not going to go beyond. It's already uh, it's already predetermined. By Yahweh Bashem Yasha. This is just a few verses relating to don't envy the, um, not to envy the wicked. Um, I hope it helps someone, whoever listened. Um, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yasha Bashem Rakadush. Salutation to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike. Teach 100% true. Shalom Baraka thumb to them for their knowledge and edification. Give all praise and foremost to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshah, Bashim, Rakadush. The water shall Thank you.